friends now we are going to start a very important topic in operations research that is linear programming in which simplex method that means solving a linear programming problem by simplex method but first of all let us discuss some important points in simplex method particularly what to do to simplify the linear programming problem or to convert the linear programming problem with inequalities into a problem having equalities because first we should have a problem with equalities then only we can solve the problem now if we examine there are various types of inequalities the type of say constraint that is inequality which type of inequality is there and what we have to do to convert it into an equality Let us examine the things. The first kind of inequality is with less than or equal to sign. Say for example, 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 60. That is an inequality. Now how to convert it into an equality? We have to add slack variable. That means plus s. Another kind of what is the example? Say 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 60 will be now 2x1 plus 3x2 plus s equals to 60. What is this s? S is a slack variable. It is a, a virtual variable which we have introduced or we have added it the logic is what if the value of x1 and x2 both the basic variables comes to zero we know the graphic method and in graphic method one of the corner point can be zero zero but in simplex method our starting point is always zero zero we assume that no production of x1 and x2 is made that is zero then what will happen with the production facility or our resources if x1 and x2 both are zero zero plus zero equals to 60 is it possible no but now if we introduce a slack variable zero plus zero plus s equals to 60 therefore s equals to 60 that means we can conclude that the slack variable represents unused resources. So, in case of an inequality or constraint with less than or equal to sign, we have to add a slack variable. We will write a number with S, S1, S2, S3, S4 according to the inequality number. If it is first, we will write S1. If it is second, we will write S2 and so on. But it will be clear when we take a problem or a sum now another possibility is greater than or equal to in this case we will have to treat these two signs separately greater than and equal to in this case less than or equal to is treated as single sign but in case of greater than equal to we treat as a combination of two signs greater and equal for the purpose of greater First, we have to subtract surplus variable we will use sign s for surplus but see it is subtracted it is exactly opposite to slack variable slack variable represents unused capacity or unused resources while surplus variable is exactly opposite to that we have to subtract what will happen if we have inequal sorry number two will be add 
artificial variable that is plus a a1 a2 a3 and so on what will happen if this is an inequality with greater than or equal to sign what can happen it will be 2x1 plus 3x2 minus s plus a equals to 60 this will be the effect of greater than or equal to sign we have to include two virtual variables one is surplus that is subtracted and another is artificial that is added all these virtual variables have to be included in our objective function that is z function also but we will discuss about that when we are solving the problems here we are discussing about the effect of sign of the inequality only and the third kind of sign possible is equal to that means the constraint is not in the form of an inequality but constraint itself is in the form of equality that doesn't mean we can directly write it as a say, simplified version of LPP no we have to add artificial variable That means we have to add artificial variable. For example, if this constraint is of this form, for the purpose of solving the problem through simplex method, we have to convert it in this form. 2x1 plus 3x2 plus artificial variable equals to 60. So, there are three possibilities of the sign of constraint or inequality it can be with less than or equal to sign we have to add slack variable which represents unused capacity or resource if the sign is greater than or equal to we have to subtract surplus variable at the same time we have to add artificial variable this treatment is for greater sign this treatment is for equal to sign this is considered as single sign only this is considered as combination of two signs so we have to use two virtual variables and if any constraint is in the form of equality already in the form of equality there also we have to add artificial variable after converting the linear programming problem or rather inequalities or constraints of the linear programming problem into this form we can solve the problem by simplex method. That's all. Thank you very much.